This week we welcome Florian Cruz onto the channel. Florian is a prolific melodic house producer with releases stretching far back into 2007 and signings on various different household labels like Global Underground, Ein Musica and Junadeep, Celador, Katamaka, Iliatics and more. His style I would describe as a blend between minimal and melodic techno with a heavy focus on groove and simple hypnotic riffs that carry the dance floor. He joins us today to write a track from scratch and give us a peek into his workflow. Now over to Florian Cruz. Hello, my name is Florian Cruz and I'm here in my studio and I'm taking the challenge Basic Waves gave me to produce a track in two hours. So let's see how far we get. Um, I do my very best. And yeah, I would like to show you how I start a track and how I work create, uh, creatively in the studio. Um, there's no um, special scheme I'm using, I'm just like, I go with the flow. Today I think I will start with the beat and then try to find a cool bass and uh, some other sounds and like take it from there. So you see I work with Logic Pro. Um, I also have Ableton, but that's for me that's more for life. I had like a cool life project called The Ground together with a singer. His name is Henrik Burkhardt. We had like a couple of releases together and um, yeah, been playing um, live in different countries. And yeah, so for our live project I was using Ableton in the studio Logic. A couple of years back I was also uh, using Steinberg's Cubase. And I also have Pro Tools on my system because I'm a sound designer and um, I work for um, commercials and um, documentaries. And once you work with picture, I find like Pro Tools is just like the best, the best program for that. But on the music side, being creative, working with MIDI, um, bringing in synthesizers, stuff like that, uh, I've, from, in my opinion, Logic is, uh, is a good choice. And yeah, I love working with, with it since many, many years already. So let's get into it. Let's start with a kick drum. So I have um, the Basic Waves uh, samples here. And the good thing about new samples is like, it's a lot of fun to, to uh, listen to them and to find new sounds. So we have the Basic Waves Artist Kicks. I already had to listen to it and I find like Artist Kicks Volume 2. There have been some very good bass drums already. So let's just like listen to them. Yeah, I love the dirt of this one. Let's drag it in. Oh yeah, I like this one too. So I normally try to create my own bass drums. So I, of course I use bass drums from sample libraries. Sometimes I just cut them out from tracks I like. So if, if there's a track I love playing in the club and I feel like, wow, this bass drum is amazing. Then I rip it off, but I'm not just like taking it the way it is. I try to, to make it my own. <clears throat> so I would never just like copy the bass drum and use it. I was just like, um, I'm more about like um, creating my own sounds with EQs and maybe just use the high frequencies of this bass drum and then the low frequencies of another bass drum. So yeah, let's see. What do we have? I love the dirt here. So maybe I can just set a low cut. That's what I like. And then maybe this one here. That's punchy. That's what I like about it. 
Let's try to combine it. First of all, I just copy it, take down the volume because those bass drums are mastered, they're pretty loud. When I just leave the level at zero, it starts clipping soon once I add other um, percussion elements or a bass line, whatever. Okay, let's listen to it. Adjust the tempo. I love working on 25, 125 BPM at the moment. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And we can just add the dirt of this one to the other bass drum. Okay, I like it. Yeah, that's what I'm taking. Don't have much time, so I try to work fast. There's a little logic hack shortcut. So this is my main bass drum, so kick drum. If you press Shift, Alt and N, you see um, the region get, gets the same name um, I was writing here into the track. Do the same here. This is just like kick drum, uh, high end or dirt, kick drum dirt, that's how I call it. So Shift, Alt, and it's written in very nice cool what i do now is like i stack it so i have just like one track for the kick drums so it's my kick stack and now i'm just adding a little bit of reverb quickly i, I use the space designer for this And there's this little tom room, which is a very short room. And I um, always name my channels right the right way. So you can like, yeah, if you're a bit like further in the process of arrangements and stuff, and you're starting to, yeah, use your, your bus channels or auxiliary channels, it's good to know what's on, on every single channel. So I call it tom room or small room, however you want it, tom room. Now I know, okay, this is like a very small reverb. Let's see how it sounds. Just a very, very, very little amount of the, the reverb. Yeah, just like this, that's cool. Okay, we have a kick drum. Let's have a look for the snares. just check that my mic is still recording yes it is very good okay here we go snare drums what do we have here sample pack claps same procedure for me not using just one clap so make it sound interesting and add some character and create your own your own um, percussion elements or drum elements. I like this one. I like this one. It's snappy. This one's cool as well. Okay, let's just start working with those three. 
first of all, I just do the first one I throw into my project. So I don't like the reverb at the very end. I have to have it short and sharp. Just like this. Okay, that's clap number one. Number two, the snappy one. That's all right. The third one, let's see what we get here. Okay, that's a cool reverb at the very end. Yeah, I like it. So maybe we can make it more stereo and therefore I use the sample delay logic, this one here. Now you see it's like, maybe you can hear it. It's spread out. Yeah, it's cool. So there's space in the middle of the stereo image. Um, so you have like the main snappy clap in the middle and there's also some happening something happening on the left and the right side of your ears. It's already, it already sounds stereo. Yeah, that's great. Like it that way. So maybe we can add some live character and use another clap loop or something to, um, yeah, to make it more, more, to make to add a little life feeling to it. Let's see if I can find loops like that. Um, I think I had like something here: drum loops, like clap loops, construction loops, shaker loops. No. So where is it? That's the main problem. <laughs> Finding your sounds, especially when they're new. What do we have? Are there any loops here? Drum pack. Clap, clap, hi hat loop, perk loop, shaker loop, top loops. So maybe that takes too much time now. So I'll just leave it the way it is. But what I do to get this live feeling, I can just adjust like the starting point a little bit, you know, like a live drummer or something, or even drum machines are not 100% tight, especially the, the old ones. So it's always a bit to the left or to the right. And you just create a feeling that it's not like 100% sharp and quantized and, um, yeah, too technical, too, I don't know, like, like robotic. So you just want to add some life feeling to it. And it's not much that I'm shifting here to the left and to the right, just a little, little bit. And yeah. Ah, come on. There are also different ways to do it. So I just like go into every file and do it manually, but you can also use other functions in Logic. That's a cool thing. Like so, everybody um, is doing it in a different way, working with Logic in a different way. Uh, there are so many ways to create something, and yeah, but that's how I work. You can rarely hear it. It's just like, just like a feeling. That's good. Okay. 
So that's like clap three. Clap two and clap one. <clears throat> okay, let's join this or glue this together. Here we go. Go and here we go. So because I did this those changes. I wanna have like a bigger region because I need to cut this. Just like this. Oh sorry. my shortcut to name the region like the track it's shift alt n here we go clip one clip two clip three here we go and again i'm stacking it so clap stack so i have a good overview and I'm not getting lost when I use too many different tracks, too many different regions. That helps in the arrangement process later on. That's always good to, to work tidy. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Another reverb for the clap maybe. This time I'm going to use the um, LT verb 7 from Audio Ease. And of course, I have my favorite presets here already because I worked with this tool for some years now. Go to gear, and then there's this Lexicon 480 reverb. And I love the Music Club preset, it's 1.6 seconds long. Let's hear it. So I call it Music Club Auxiliary Channel. I don't want to have it too wet, just a little, little bit. Yeah. Maybe it's already too much reverb, let's see. I oh, know it's all the, the other reverb is coming from the clap three. But it's nice, it's good. Okay, here we go. Bass drum clap. Let's hurry up. <clears throat> what else? Hi hats. Head loops, let's see what, what we have here. Check out this one. Pressing Alt and then, yeah, time stretching this one from 120 BPM, as you can see in the file name, to 125. It's like very easy. Yeah, okay, I just take this as a basis and now I add, um, I'm creating a software synthesizer here, no, I don't want the strings. From the Roland Cloud, I'm going to use uh, the drum machines a lot. What you can't see in the video, in this section of my studio, I also have some machines, I have the MX-1 by Roland, the TR-8 and TV-3, um, yeah. But now it's better to work on with digital stuff because I don't have another camera to show you the rest here. <clears throat> okay. What I do first is mute all the files, otherwise it's a big mess if I press play and everything starts playing at the same time. <laughs> okay. 
Let's go. It's too much shuffle. I just take a little bit. Plus six or seven, whatever. Okay, close hi-hats. Here we are. 16 notes. Already starts grooving. Now I can uh, change the decay. Yeah, I like that one. So at the top you can see there's like some accent. So the first note and the uh, note number nine has like an extra, I don't know, um, extra gain or yeah character it sounds cool it's, it starts grooving so what I do now is um, because I I'm a person I like to work visual I could just keep this tier 909 running but I don't see it and I want to see it so I bounce it it's better and sometimes you know it gets lost in the loop and it's not 100% tight um, when I add more plugins and stuff. So to avoid that, I'm gonna I gonna bounce or export the file and put it back into the session. Just name it right, 909 hi hats. Here we go. Go to my audio files, then throw it in. Here we are. Okay, mute my 909 again. 909 hi hats. So my shortcut. Ah, okay. Sorry. 909 hi hats. There we are. To get more space for the bass drum. Try to add some side chaining. So every time the kick drum comes, the hi hat pump is down in the volume. So it's like tick 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 tick. So I have to go to this part side chain and just tell tell the hi hat the kick drum is my side chain. But it's better to let me do this in the very beginning. So the first channel I call trigger. I mute it. And then I take the main bass drum up to the top. I can also like press L and loop it to the very end of the session. So this is my trigger point and yeah, I just add the trigger here as a side chain and now you will see what happens. It starts grooving, huh? The other hi-hat works very well now because it's it goes into yeah it fills the gap that's amazing I like it very much cool cool so now it's time to add some some percussion elements in between some groovy stuff, maybe some like a tom or something. I don't know what I hear. Something like that. Let me see. So again, opening the 909. I don't need the highs anymore because I've bounced them. So maybe low tom. Yeah, I like it. Very simple and repetitive, and it's good. Okay, so I'm going to bounce this again. Nine on nine tombs. Oh. 
Come on. Here we go. Add some reverb. Tom goes into the music club. Yeah. Because I still have this 909 open, I'm gonna try to create a clap, um, like a, how, how you call it, like a clap loop or something, so I can mix it in later on in my arrangement. So just try to add some random notes here, whatever, let's see how it sounds. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Bounce it again or export it. Clap figure. <clears throat> Let's check this. To keep it running in a loop, it's too much. It's not my basic groove. But now I'll show you what I have in mind for this, for the arrangement later. It's, I take the native instruments replica XT. That's a delay. Um, just hire the feedback and then the mix zero or, yeah. So the track is running, imagine like an arrangement and then this is coming up. Yeah, and then you go into a break. So I can auto automate this um, wet drive level or mix level later. Now I keep it at zero. And now I mute this clap figure again. But I have um, already have something I can use in my arrangement later. Because I had the 909 open and I just yeah wanted to do it straight away. Okay, that's for later. Find like a different color for it, maybe like purple, so I know. Okay, there's something I can use. Good, but that's my groove. Normally, I add some clicks and crackles on top of this. So, clicks, crackle, clicks, and crackle. There we are. Okay. Just to get some dirt to my session. Now it's way too loud, but it's pretty cool. So I'm using this clicks and crackle loop since, I don't know, 10 years or something. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I get new samples and new FX Atmos and stuff like that. But this one I found years ago and it's still the best for me. Okay, let's lower this, like very low, like, I don't know, minus 25 dB or something. So it's just a feeling. A little bit of vinyl feeling, analog feeling here. That's cool. We're gonna loop this. Okay. Now it's time to find a baseline, I think. Is it already time for baseline? Yeah, I think it's time for baseline. Come on. So I make the loop a little longer. So what I got from the guys from Basic Waves is like um, some new Diva sounds. UHE Diva. It's also in the sample pack. It's pretty good sounds. I had a, just like a quick listen to it. So it's right here, Basic Waves Analog Exploration. Let's see, what do we have? Okay. 
Now it's a bit of trial and error. Ooh, that one's loud. Space out the tom. Boom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, gonna record that. Three, four. So press Q to quantize this stuff. Maybe just a little swing, not much. Yeah. Don't forget to press Command S for saving everything you do happened to me many 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 times that I forgot to save and then I had like yeah I just lost half an hour or sometimes even 45 minutes of work that's something you want to avoid but now after so many years it's just like I don't know just like an automatic thing you do you know you don't realize that you just press command s <clears throat> yeah okay to use the fab filter Q3 as an equalizer so just do a little bit of a low cut tiny bit I don't know 25 or it's 26 maybe like this and some compression I like the type R light preset it's pretty straightforward and then another compressor but this one's just for the sidechain function once again the kick drum is the chef <laughs> the boss so um, yeah it should stay the boss in the, in the whole mix I can already hear it right it's pu it starts pumping boom 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 Clipping, huh? It's too loud, especially the clap. Take everything down a little bit. Okay, let's take it from here. So the clicks and crackle goes on top. So I don't want to see it anymore. Don't need this anymore. This is just like going through the whole track. Same with the trigger. So now it says trigger. Okay. Those are my beats. Here's the bass line. Now let's find some harmonic stuff. Again, I'm gonna use the, the diva. I can 
for the moment I can just like bypass the inserts. Maybe some of them I'm gonna use, so that's why I copied the channel. And yeah, let's see, what do we have? sidechain so I copied the channel now I don't need to add the compressor again and yeah make all the settings let's go it's there straight away yeah I like it I can do something for the stereo image. So what I do is add modulation, tremolo, and a friend of mine is like one of the best best mixing engineers I know. His name is Monte. He does all the stuff for Purple Disco Machine, for example. Good boy. And he once gave me the tip for the Logic tremolo, the Monte tip, <laughs> how I call it. It's just like, um, yeah, I'm. The sound is traveling from the left channel side to the right channel side, and you feel like it goes like this. That's pretty nice. So, I can hear it. I hope you can hear it on the headphones. Left and right, left and right. Okay, let's keep on going. I'm gonna copy the channel again. One more time, I'm gonna use the Diva. So, but I, for now, I just mute my inserts or put them off. Uh, next thing, what else do we have? Maybe a lead sound?
so I just used this one as like an atmospheric pad at the very bottom of, of, of the mix. So now it was very loud, but let me just show you what I have in mind for this one. I like the modulation and the noisy type, you know, it adds some tension. So I'm just gonna record this. Three, four. So, what I have in mind is... The high tone. I like it. Okay. What I do now is gonna I'm gonna bounce bounce this one in place. So Atmo. Yeah, I just call it Atmo. To a low cut, so I don't have the lower. I just have this noise thing. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna add the compressor for the side chain again, so it's it starts pumping. That's what I do with almost all channels here, as you can see. It's pretty dry, so I can, gonna, I, can um, I can put it into the music uh, club reverb again. So use the tremolo effects again. It starts wandering from left to right, slowly, just a little bit. Yeah. Just bury at the bottom end so you can just feel it. Not really hearing it. That's good. Okay. Now I think I need to find something that's that's a real melody, you know? So now it's very basic, the bass is pumping, and we have like, yeah, some atmospheric stuff. It keeps the tension high. I can show you the claps I added earlier um, when I do some automation with them. Wait. what I have in mind for the arrangement. So we have that. I think, yeah, because the main melody is like the hardest thing to find. And I feel like I should add some other stuff first because, um, yeah, I'm a bit frightened to get stuck because the main melody is the focus, the main focus, the the hook and yeah it ha really has to be in point but i need more material so i think i take it easy for now and add another instrument and create something that i would like to have in my production as well and that's from arturia i'm taking the how's it called uh which one was it again sorry um I forget all the time, is it the ARP 2600? Let's see. No, it's not. It's the modular V3, this one. Looks similar. <laughs> okay. What do we have? Drums? Hi-hat, simple noise. 
see how it sounds. Yeah, like it. Yeah, it describes it right. <laughs> it's just a noise, which can be used as uh, used as a hi hat. Logic has a cool function, MIDI FX. So I add the arpeggiator. Yeah, no, it does this. So, okay, I changed the rate to quarters. Add some swing just again, just a little bit, but it's so then it's not too robot robotic. I'm gonna record this now, it sounds very random, but I can do some automation later, and then it, yeah, it has a real character. Okay. Quantize. Why is it? Is it because of my swing? messed it up. This is what I want. Yeah. And then I'm gonna play around with the DK a little bit of the first envelope, the VCA one. Okay, let me do some automation here. So this is the modular V3, modular V3 hi-hat. So I have some space to play around. Okay, let's do it. Latch function, opening the plugin, going to the bottom end. Sounds very dry, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna add some delay for sure. But this is now I put, I put the replica XT on on an auxiliary channel. Dotted eights is great. Let's see what it does. I can just call it delay. Maybe 
maybe some ping pong. Some left right stereo. Some high cut, low cut. Let's change this, just trying around to whatever 16th note. No, I think this is just the best option here. It's pretty cool. There you can see it. At the very end of 20k, there's a lot going on. That's way too much, you know, that's aching in, in the ears. So you can take this away. It's not too sharp for our ears, <laughs> not making any damage. I sent this into a room again, music club. Side chain, not too much. So now at the very end, when I do the DK um, automation, it feels like a bit, yeah, I don't know. The, uh, we could add some sustain or even release time so the sound gets longer. Let's see what happens if we do so. Latch function again. See it. So let's see if it helps to make it sound more natural. track so we definitely need to find a melody <laughs> okay let's go find it i give the diva another chance otherwise i'm jumping to, uh, over to another software synthesizer so let's see visions arp function maybe can add an arp sound whatever let's see
it and then I yeah click through the sounds just an idea. to make the sound bright. And I love to use the native instruments uh, Raum for it. And there's like a the basic sound. You just open it and it's there. And this one's pretty spacey, huge. Long decay. I like that. sound.
Yeah, I like it. That's cool, I think. So, what else? Let's see, because um, in the basic waves folder, there have been also some like cool melodies, cool sounds here, basic waves, samples, here we are. Presets, FX, and Atmos, no. Where was it? Melodic has techno here, melody loops. Let's have a look into this. So I'm going to mute the keys, just leave the bass line. quick now so I just like explain what I did so I added an EQ erased all the bass frequencies the the low end <clears throat> so I have more space for my for my own bass line and then um, I added a filter the Simplon filter by fat filter and yeah I think I use this one here it's this one's gentle this one's raw like it's the way the filter um, goes in, you know, like uh, this one resonates more than the gentle uh, option. I can show it to you. Yeah, I like it. For now, it sounds good. I'm gonna add some sidechain again. Like I said, bass drum is boss. <laughs> Should stay boss on the mix. Yeah, bigger reverb on on the hi hats. Let's see. So this time I didn't use any auxiliary channel for this ROM. I just like inserted it. That's okay sometimes.
that's pretty cool. Cool. I think I found something I can I can work with in in the arrangement as well. So now it's still clipping. Let's see. And we can just take down all the tracks. Not the trigger, not the not the clicks and crackle, that's alright, the way it is. But this one Normally I try to have like minus three, minus six even <clears throat> to get some space for the mastering engineer. Some headroom. So it, so it shouldn't be to zero or even clipping like the way it was. That's all right. Yeah, nice. Okay, have to go to the toilet quickly. Be back in a sec. So let's continue. Let's see if everything is still running smoothly here. Yeah, recordings on. Here we go. Yeah, it's sometimes good, you know, to just go outside of the room, come back into the room, listen again, and yeah, I still like it. So that was a good test. <laughs> <clears throat> what I hear now is like some little FX sounds, like a clap with lots of reverb, like tsh, the typical stuff. Um, yeah, let me just try to add something like this. So what, what I could do is like do an auxiliary channel on the main clap and to automate it and then I on the auxiliary or the bus um, track I'm gonna add my huge native instruments Raum reverb set it to mix 100 this is like a um, big big room whatever Okay, <clears throat> let's see. It's testing. Yeah, that's actually exactly what I was hearing. and just like do it every so this let's do it here not here but here adjusting a little bit it's a bit much Yeah, it's better. A little bit more. Okay. Let's take it from here. So now I hear like a like a high string note or high um pad note, whatever. So let's see. Normally I use the Arturia uh, Solina or yeah, Fafisa or Solina. strings let's see 
higher. Let's to add more tension. Now it's again too loud, but if I just like um, do some volume automation later, together with the claps they're going into the reverb, uh, into the delay, it's increasing, everything is rising up, and then the string goes up just a little bit and it all falls into, into a break, the beat stops, but the high string stays, you know, like, mm. that's pretty cool, I think. Let, let me record this and then use it in my arrangement. too loud now but it's just for the recording yeah. it's annoying but later on it's it's good trust me okay so high string Slightly bit of okay. Now it starts from zero and goes up. Okay, so now let's try to do some arrangement stuff. It's one hour fifty minutes already, so we need to. I need to hurry up. Okay, my beat section up here. Just copy. And copy this is the modulated hi-hat gonna move my data my um, automation toms hi-hats that belongs to the beat to the top so let's put it all all here <clears throat> that's my clap no gonna copy it as well So like this, baseline and all the other stuff. Copying, copying. Okay, how to start, let's see. So I'm gonna mute those for now. So what I want is like, not the trigger, but the rest should be unmuted. The 909, so maybe I'm gonna use this one as well later on. This is muted as well, but the rest is open. And if I want to mute something, I just mute the region. Otherwise, if at a moment uh, while you're in the process of arranging stuff and you just unmute something and there are regions open, then it's a mess up. So I just like try to, to have all channels open, unmuted, and then I just mute and unmute the regions. So this is not how we want to start, not with the string, not with this tension sound, the tension arp, not with the melody, comes all later. So maybe with the bass line and the Atmos sound, let's see, so I don't need the 16th hi-hat. Maybe no clap. Yeah, that's the way I want it. Okay, <clears throat> let's get into this. The Atmos sound can be um, can come in slowly. Now you can hear the tremolo effect, which is pretty nice. It goes from left to right. 
gets louder. So I'm gonna change my view here. Can you see it? To custom. That's like a preset I made by my own. So I can see the time here. I have the tempo and all the stuff I need. So for the very beginning, I might um, filter the, the bass drum. So we have just like, we have um, a low cut on it. So I use the single band EQ for this. Slope up to 48. way. One more round. Latching it. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That's exactly what I had in mind. That's pretty cool. Let's listen to it. So you see here's like the bypass of um, the single cue. Ooh, too early. What happened? Yeah, sometimes there's some latency, I guess. The atmosphere sounds too loud. Really be in the very back. for the clap, I don't know. problem if you if you create stacks it's not asking to copy the automation I hate it so logic please for future updates I would love to copy like when I copy the regions I would love to be asked if I should like copy the, the bus automation as well So what I now want is like some FX sounds as well. So it's pretty dry at the moment. Let's see what we have. Like single FX, those are loops, right? No, I don't want FX loops. I just want like a tsh or a tsh, stuff like that. So let's see, what do we have? FX one shots, please. Basic waves, melodic house and techno, FX. There we are. Sweeps, rises, and yeah, that sounds pretty cool. <clears throat> it's very cla 
classic rising effects. Let's just add it and see if it does anything. I'm not sure, it's like it's 124 BPM, but it's just a noise sound, so I don't think it's very rhythmic. Let's see, maybe it works. It's loud. Yes. Yes, it works. Works pretty nice, actually. And again, I use my Tremolo FX. I know I do <laughs> always the same stuff, but yeah, that's actually my production style. That's what I do. So no bad thing doing it again and again. Send this into a big room again to my native instruments home. Low cut. Yeah, maybe stopping the bass drum for a moment. just at one minute so the DJ needs a little space to mix it in <clears throat> so I think yeah this part is perfect so maybe the mixing is not right yet because I'm just like as you can see wearing headphones <clears throat> normally I I use my monitors of course I have like two big you can't see it in the video. Two big Jenny leg monitors um, and the, the Neumann ones. Um, <clears throat> and um, yeah, so in this room I can pretty good hear what's right and what's wrong. But on the headphones I can't, can't really hear it, um, especially in the bass um, frequencies. But this is something for later. For now, that's just fine. It's just like about the style and about like the creative process um, and the mixing comes later. So I would actually love to have like a on the very first uh, note. Right when it starts, like not a crash, but a, it's not it rises. Of course, not misc FX. Something like that. I tried this one. Just very low in the mix. Mixing level. No bass. Lots of reverb. Uh, delay.
way too early for this rise of X. Way, way too early. Should be here. Gonna make this more stereo. What I do now is like um, filtering in the, the tension arp. So it starts at very um, low frequency, 622 hertz. So you can hear it. Now you want to hear it increase. I hear the string coming up. Sound very bad. So like let's hear it from from the very beginning. That's the thing. If you want to get a picture of, of the arrangement, then you need to listen from the beginning again and again. And then for me it's just like a feeling in the stomach if something's right or not, you know, you just like feel there's something missing or something comes in too early or whatever. All right. So what I do with the automation of the modular V3 hi-hats, gonna adjust those a little bit too. So at the very end, or towards the main, or towards the first breakdown, gonna increase the levels a little bit. even more. Okay. So what we do now, jumping into the break, 
gonna mute my hi hats. I'm gonna mute my clap or my claps. <laughs> so just keep the bass drum running, I guess. And also the tension arp, but filled it down. So it was, or maybe I just keep it up for the moment. And then going down again, let's see what it does. And then the, the string I said, I just want to keep this running as well. That's just like coming in nicely, I find. Just slowly going in, it's not annoying anymore. Just adding depth. <coughs> Also gonna send um, the tension arp into the big room, so it's get get gets uh, really roomy in the breakdown. It's all about automation. dirt, some distortion, some color. not the main break so it shouldn't be too long just like a little hands up moment for the dance floor introducing the app you can already bring it in here Yeah. 
us into the right direction. volume of the kick drum down. that some reverb automation and filter automation let's go going on a higher level yeah exactly like this And I still have my claps. You remember this, those claps here? So I can, yeah, just like make a volume automation as well. Let's see how it sounds. can do is like um, bring in the last clap hmm. ah, sorry here we are just the last one then again, the automation. Yeah, exactly this way. It's a bit much here, so it's better minus two. Okay. Command S, don't forget. to have fun while doing music.
that's about the little things, you know, like um, some automation here and there. Like with the 16th hi-hat, the modular hi-hat, I can play around with that one and I can add the reverb to single clap notes to get to create some depth to make it sound more interesting here and there. Um, yeah, it's like tiny things, but we should not for not lose the groove and just try to stay into into like a way where people yeah start moving, start dancing. Okay, <clears throat> I find like I could try out my claps on this position here before the break. So I'm gonna take the volume up like here like ramp it up and also um, now I'm latching the replica delay so let's listen to this exactly the way um, um, I love to use claps and those type of claps to, to create like a yeah like a pattern like this pattern we did earlier like one and a half hours ago or one hour ago and um, yeah just like use it as tool to switch from one part to the other merge it in like into the main break well into the first break yeah so you carry on the the delay of the clap which is pretty nice it fills the gap can think about like um, do also a ramp on the on the bass line so it's a long way without bass frequencies and I don't want people to stop moving on the dance floor they just should never stop moving so maybe we just bring in the bass earlier strings coming back in.
claps again. So yeah, we're getting there. Getting faster than expected. I mean, we almost reached the two hours mark and we don't have like a final product or final track. But yeah, I think we're pretty far in this short amount of time. And yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, the day after is important, you know, like once you're into the zone, you work on a creative basis and you just like, you're into like a tunnel and then the day after you realize, okay, it's either good, like you felt the way before, or it's crap. And then you think like, oh, wow, how could I have been so wrong? But I think this is something every producer um, experienced or experiences every now and then. That you, in, the, in your tunnel, you feel like this is like the most amazing stuff. And then with some distance the day after, you feel like, oh no, it wasn't. I was completely wrong. But yeah, um, let's keep on going for another couple of minutes. See what we can add. another break let's see some claps are here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my um, single EQ again you remember with the low cut settings here so let's see where and yeah clap automation shouldn't forget about that one Taking out two bass drums here, bringing in the bypass, or automating the bypass of the low cut. Yeah. <clears throat> some noise. What I didn't do so far is um, automating the Diva bass line. So we have a cut off here so we can see how it sounds. Let's record it or like um, 
automated. Here we are. Okay. Yeah, I like the moment when bass drum and bass line uh, are almost, almost running alone, running on their own. It's always a great, um, yeah, great thing on the dance floor. I feel like it's just like boom, boomy, and come, and then the hi hats and all the percussions are come back in later. So you have a break for a moment of like this busy sound when everything's together. Let's listen to it one more time. Far we get today. Um, I would actually layer the the main melody, the dim, 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 with another sound, or like play a yeah call and answer or call and response um, melody kind of thing. You know, like dun, 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 something like that. You know, that sounds a bit more like a real um, hook and something you will even remember the day after your club night. 
so that's something that's a bit weak at the moment but um yeah something i need a bit more time for to find the right sounds to maybe adjust um, um the melodies but the rest like the atmosphere and this um yeah trying to keep the tension high and to do some dynamics things are coming in some um automations on the hi-hats on the claps and stuff which may make it sound interesting yeah um one more thing i just wanted to show you because you saw me just like dragging in um, audio files and just adjusting them or cutting them um i sometimes also use the sampler function in logic pro which is pretty nice so what you can do with your um, drum samples let's do the drum shots here just quickly um let's do the crashes because i think we could add a crash so i have like i can take all of them 26 crashes i'm gonna put them here and now logic is asking me to create a sampler chromatic map sampler so here we go and now i can save my um preset and just say like basic waves basic waves crashes so here we are and now now i have them here so i could just go in here just an example Oh, this one is nice. Let's do, let's change it. Do it one more time. Yeah, I like it. We can add some delay again. Right, you can just take out some high frequencies, so it's a bit like yeah. Same. So yeah, that's also a good way to to create your own samples or like the, your own sampler stuff to work faster next time you start a session. So I have many sampler presets with hi-hats, with crashes, with um, claps, bass drum, stuff like that. Okay, coming to an end now. I hope you enjoyed what I've done and um, yeah, I hope there was something for you, some learning experience. I don't know. Uh, like I said in the very beginning, um, it's just like making music, it's trial and error. Sometimes just things happen. Sometimes nothing is happening. <laughs> that happens too. And um, it's just about like, try to get into the groove, try to have fun, try to not be too much on it with your head. Don't like relate too much to other tracks you like. Just do your own thing, find your own style. And yeah enjoy making music so have a nice day and thanks for watching bye bye